Yo ho, welcome back to Top Cat Gaming. So, I've been getting messages weirdly. Well, I say weirdly as it's uh, on my PSN instead of my YouTube comments, which if you scroll down a little bit, they're, they're down there. You can, you can leave them there. <laughs> That's all right. Um, so, people want to see what gear and stats I run. So, I think that did it. I thought I'd uh, do a video on it real quick. Look how cool this is though. I was doing, um, I was doing quests just to kill a bit of time. And just relax while I was eating. And look how cool this is, man. I got so immersed. Probably the first time I got so immersed in this game. And I love dragons, obviously. Anyway, <laughs> we're not here for that. But, um, yeah, messages, messages. So, obviously I'm still low CP, so go easy on me, and I'm still learning as well. I'm only like four, nearly five months into the game, so I'm like 640 CP, so I've still got a long way to go to the threshold of like 1500, which is recommended. Um, Magblade Bomber, which is super satisfying when you see these numbers pop up, even though it's super laggy and you're not seeing everything pro properly. But it's so expensive as well. Bethesda, if that's how you say it. Bethesda, please show Magblade a bit of love. Please. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, um, so Mundus, I am running the apprentice for that extra spell damage. Uh, you can't complain with a little bit of extra spell damage. I know people use Actual Knight for sustain, but. I'm a bomber and I just want that damage. Uh, Warrior is a good option if you want to go with the weapon damage route. So don't hesitate using the Warrior. Uh, my stats were in 50 points in Magicka, which gets me close to 30k with a few glyphs, and 14 in health, which gets me close to 30k health as well with glyphs. So that's pretty much perfect for PvP. And looks PvE as well. Um, so the Inferno stuff, I'm using Dark Convergence, and my back part, I use the Maelstrom's Restro stuff. And my boss set is Slime Crawl. So, and I use that in Heavy as well, which brings me to the point of at the, at the moment, I'm using Heavy, Medium, and Light passives. Uh, just taking advantage of that while I'm building up uh, my CP so you can't can't not use them I know you do grow out of them eventually which I want to use vicious death eventually which I'll switch out for my plague prick so I'll just be using light and heavy so with the inferno stuff I'm using the weapon damage enchantment with the sharpened trait obviously the weapon damage enchantment gives me 348 spell damage for a random 5 seconds burst which is it's great for bombing especially if the burst hits at the right time you see them numbers proc up especially with the dark convergence and you're getting uh, them, them groups spammed into a group obviously with the sharpened, you can't complain with a little bit of extra penetration. I know some people use Nern Hunt, but I've gone with sharpened for now. Um, Maelstrom's Restro Staff, I'm using the Magicka Absorb enchantment. Um, just using it, giving a bit of Magicka, and obviously I'm gaining Magicka from the staff itself with heavies, and I'm using the Defending trait the extra spell and physical resistance which also can't complain with a little bit of extra resistance at all um, slime crawls headpiece obviously it's heavy and then divines and you get that minor berserk which gives you that extra 5% damage you can't complain on a bit of extra damage as I'll say all the way through the video plague break jack which is an M pen um, I want to switch it out for vicious death eventually but part of my medium pieces which obviously adds up that passive um, slime claws shoulders and divines just finishes off my two pieces 
impen dark convergence sash and impen gloves of dark convergence can't complain that's the uh, another two pieces for dark convergence and lights uh, plague break guards and plague break boots and divines which finishes off my medium pieces for the passives um, I've got protective uh, for spell resistance play break necklace and play break ring with a ring of dark convergence both with blood thirsty and both with the spell damage en enchantment you cannot complain getting that extra spell damage at all it's a lot of spell damage for burst uh, obviously using vampire I usually run stage 2 sometimes stage 3 depending on what mood I'm in, I usually sometimes I start with stage 3 and let it drop down to stage 2 uh, I use the Bee Witch Sugar Schools honestly other people, a lot of people use different foods but I think this is the best food for vampires uh, for that extra health recovery because you do lose a lot of health recovery as a vampire and it's a tri stat food so you also you cannot complain it gets me close to that 30k mark with health and magicka um, also another try stat food that I use, I use it in PvE mostly though, is the long fin and it's cheap to make so you can't complain, you just don't, don't get any uh, recoveries and I, I don't use this unless I hit stage 4 getting a little bit too carried away so I can drop, just drop myself down one uh, try stat potions, you get them free with your dailies I think you get them like 3 times a month, can't complain uh, it's great to get your health uh, and magical backup and you're in a little bit of a sticky situation and my essence of detection my favorite one I use this all the time um, obviously you get that stuff uh, detection you get your major sorcery and your major intellect for that magical recovery and extra spell damage 20% is a huge boost and then you get your little bit of uh, magical back um, obviously when you're running around, stealthing around, using that magicka so if you're curious on what's around you, you can just pop the potion and sometimes if you already know somebody's there but they've gone invisible you can pop it and I've got a little video of showing where it comes useful sometimes I get destroyed but a lot of times you catch them off guard and sometimes they even react by the time they react sometimes it's too late for them but yeah, so I can't see him on the uh, blister, so I pop the potion. A little, f a few things are procced, so I miss him with the dark versions, but it's too late for him by then. I've already done my damage and finished up with the impale. Can't complain. I'll just get rid of his blister while I'm there. So yeah, um, to make the uh, essence of detection, you use. Uh, I can never pronounce this, I think it's like Lachlan's Tears uh, Cornflower Ladies Smock and Wormwood um, some of them can be quite expensive <laughs> somewhat it's, it's worth it's worth spending the money to make it yourself but uh, yeah if you want somebody to make it for you, that's the recipe for it um, Immovability is a good second option, obviously I don't I use channels of acceleration so I get snared quite a bit sometimes so that's another good option you just swap out cornflower with columbine um, onto my skills merciless resolve kind of up in the air with merciless resolve because it's kind of a little bit expensive for what you get because in pvp you lose your stack when the enemy that you're, you've stacked the five stack on dies and in pvp uh, pve sorry the stack stays but um, it's good for PvE uh, PvP content maybe not so much so I'm kind of like up in the air on what to swap that out with if I do swap it out not 100% sure just yet but it's a nice move um, Camouflage Hunter just using it for that major savagery and major prophecy obviously getting that weapon and spell critical rating up and the percentage chance up 12% is a big big uh, 
upgrade to be honest especially when I haven't really got stuff for my critical uh, impale is probably my favorite move because in PvE you can get up to like 45k damage on a critical hit it's insane and in PvP you can get like 12 to 15k in a critical hit so you're getting somebody below 25% health they are not getting away from you unless they roll dodge <laughs> as you can see in there oh, I'm mobilizing at the start I'm missing one of the dark versions <laughs> come on uh, don't nominate here <laughs> anyway yeah <laughs> volcanic rune is what I use to proc my dark convergence which as you can see in my last two videos or clips <laughs> I've missed it but you don't miss big groups and elemental ring is my spammable which I uh, spam some light attacks on that to get my play break propped um, as you can see when you do it right in a big group you do snare a few people and it's so satisfying hitting them high numbers with alliance points which is good for the golden vendor because obviously I'm still low and I still need gear and uh, yeah I found that golden vendor still uh, soul tether as my ultimate I use it on my t front bar mainly if I'm in a sticky situation and I'm up close and personal and it's a good synergy for uh, teammates uh, channel acceleration I use it because you, you just get longer to move around you get your minor ex major expedition and your minor force which comes in very handy when you're sneaking around and you're cloaked up and if you just want to get somewhere really quick and your uh, mounts run out of stem which happens to me a lot um, resolve vigor Back, obviously on my back bar I've got two burst heals Resolve Vigor is one of them and it's a stamina so when I run out of Magicka Resolve Vigor is perfect Crippling Grasp just pick on a, s a slow person or stop somebody in their tracks that's near somebody to proc your Dark Convergence it comes in handy and it does a bit of damage as well and then you can see them satisfying numbers pop up again uh, Rapid Regeneration which Obviously, it's handy for my Maelstrom's uh, Restro stuff, and it's on my back bar, so you get that critical chance of getting a bit of uh, magic back, and you help your team out. Shadow of Disguise, self explanatory, you get your 300 extra spell damage and weapon damage. Pretty much it, really. <laughs> Flora Stormbreaker is my end of. Uh, stacking my burst so it's on my back bar mainly because I'm there with my shadow of disguise and that's usually my burst spell and weapon damage it's not the highest but it's getting there can't complain so I've got a couple of little tips to end the video with um, obviously I'm still learning so a lot of people already know this but for those that don't, for console users, if you hold down on the D-pad, which is the left side of your analog stick, even for Xbox, it's below your left analog stick. Hold down on that and on your right analog stick, pull back to go further away, pull forward to come back in close. Which comes in handy in PvP and comes in handy in PvE as well. So I hope that helps. And then... Um, also, if you hold down on your right analog stick, you can highlight an enemy. So if you've just died and you want to get revenge and you find them in the battlefield, you can highlight them. And also, once they're highlighted, you can see them through structures. You can see them for miles. So <laughs> it's quite OP to be honest. But yeah. And then just look away and hold the analog stick down and it unhighlights them like that. So yeah. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, leave some comments for anything you'd like to see or any tips and tricks that you know. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.